what's going on guys it's gbp baby welcome back to another video hope everybody's doing well and what a beautiful day we've had today now bear bear in mind before i start this video i am actually in a hotel room so i don't have as much real estate as i usually do and i hate looking at small screens but um nonetheless it shouldn't make a difference to how we're navigating these markets anyway what are we saying so we traded up into the premium that we anticipated and you can see we also traded aggressively lower today um right through that bearish fair value um, that fair value gap which i wanted to see get traded through so we've had quite an expansive day for a monday um not surprising considering how much news we have this week but nonetheless it is going in line with what i want to see as in i'm liking this bearish price action from dollar now if you recall in yesterday's video i did say i wanted to see us trade into a premium to create the high of the week I don't particularly believe that Monday has created the high. It may have, and we'll drop down to the low time frame and take a closer look. But if you remember in yesterday's video, this level right here is a weekly bearish order block. So it'll be interesting to see if price does want to rebalance with that. And that's completely fine as well, because that lines up nicely with the midpoint of this uh, daily wick as well. So I am watching that 50% level. Although do take note, the fact that we've traded to the 25% level of that can be a signal of its significant bearishness as in, the fact that we fail to even get to the 50% level may mean that we may see, you know, quite bearish price action to deliver to the, to the downside. Nonetheless, let's go to the four hour and hopefully we can get a better look. I will just get rid of this for now. And you'll see how we traded aggressively lower from open, running through that bearish fair, va uh, that fair value gap, sorry. And then we traded back above it, came down, bullish order block and ran up into our premium and that four hour inversion fair value gap. So this, this should act bearishly. So are we seeing it act bearishly? Well, yes, we've got a nice reaction away from it. So if we are to retrace back into it again, I would like to think that we can continue to see such price action. So right now I have got, I have got my eyes on this bearish order block right here. Because yes, we traded into it here, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some kind of premium to continue to send price lower. So basically I'm looking for continued resistance. I want to see price struggle to get into these premiums. And as it's doing so, I want to see displacement to the downside. So although we ran into it with aggression and speed, we're still closing below it like this. And you can see we didn't even close in the inversion fair value gap completely. Again, show, signal, signal, signaling the bearishness that we wanted to see this week. Let's go to the one hour, take a closer look. Here's the opening gap. I drew this out yesterday and dragged it through. You can see how we've traded and closed above it. And now we're at that 50% level. So the fact that we're, we're hanging around that 50% level is why I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if we, want, if we saw Tuesday run up and take out that Monday high. Because if it respects that 50% level, we're still essentially bullish, meaning that that Monday high can be used. And then I'd want to see us start to trade lower. So, so long as we stay above this 50% level, moving into the London session tomorrow on Tuesday, then I'd be expecting that Monday high to get ran. And then I'd like to think that we can get reversal and start looking for that downwards expansion for the week I'm waiting on. If that 50% level gives way, so let's say through Asia or through, New, uh, through London, I doubt we'll make it back up to that Monday high. However, like I said, the way we're hanging around there, there's no reason we couldn't take that. So that's just everything on dollar. Let's take a look at a 15 minute and you can see how we came down. Look how it's finding support inside of the fair value gap, using it as um, resistance here. And then once we trade through it, using it as support, beautiful delivery to that premium. And again, now we're just in that little slight consolidation. So do be weary of that Monday high getting taken. And to be honest, I'm not thinking about trading anything until we're on the right side, as in until I start seeing you know, downwards price action, because that's what I want to see. One thing to take note of, um, definitely watch yesterday's video if you haven't already, by the way, and you'll see what I said about that buy side liquidity up there. We do need to be quite careful of that. But um, here's that 50% level from the daily I was talking about. Price may want to run that Monday high, as I was saying, and run up into this. So we do need to be careful of that, and that would line up with that mitigation block as well. So that's how I'm watching tomorrow. I'll just be seeing, okay, can we take out that Monday high? And once we're above there, I want to see, do we see, I'm looking for bearish price action as we move throughout the day. So especially around New York, I'd want to see a New York reversal because I don't want to see us surviving up here. Because remember, I want a down close week. So I want the high to be made either today or tomorrow, ideally, which is why I'm expecting or wanting to see some kind of struggle once it gets to these, these kind of premiums up here. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, yeah, very interesting day. Let's now head on to GBP USD. We'll start on the daily here as well. Beautiful. Well, not beautiful, but very interesting. Look at that. Can you make that up, guys? Oh, 
can you make that up? Go and watch yesterday's video. I drew our attention to that level for a reason. I do believe it's on the four hour. But nonetheless, what am I expecting? Well, now that we have this stupidly huge wick, consequent encroachment off that is going to be significant. But um, remember, we're looking for the low of pound to get made. So I'm looking for that Monday low to get ran, just like I was saying, for that Monday high to get ran on dollar. I'm happy, I'm ha I'm happy to see that. We should definitely drop down to the lower time frame though and see what kind of PD arrays we may want to trade down into. Let me see, what level is that? Oh, that's a weekly fair value cap down here. I was saying that price may want to dip down into that um, and that's completely fine if it does. Let's go to the daily action, four hours now. Yeah, okay, that weekly fair value gap is still significant. So in terms of the low of the week, ideally I'd like to think that um, pound can make it down here into this and fill that gap. And you can see that the little gap there as well. And then I'd like to think a reversal could um, come out of this. So if we do continue to trade higher on dollar, so we start seeing the rallying, which I was saying, up into this range and above that Monday high, if we see that, I'll be looking closely at um, pound to see, okay, can we get down below that last week Wednesday's low into that weekly fair value gap, fill it, and then leave it. I don't want to see us trade through it. If we trade through it, whole other story, and we'll have to reevaluate. But generally speaking, I want to see, can we get into it? And leave it because that's ideally what I want to see if I want to see an up close week on pound very interesting to see how we ran into that stop though like with the wick and if anything that's more reason to expect us to you know be looking for some kind of discount and with all the news we have this week I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a fat reversal happen and then us run out that Monday high eventually but generally speaking yeah let's go on a one hour interesting consolidation there clear displacement nice little fair value get right there definitely looking at these lows and again I want to see this get filled not traded through I want to see it get filled and then I want to see us start to trade outside of it if I see that in line with dollar moving lower I'd happily start looking for that Monday midpoint to get traded to and then eventually through this consolidation but we don't need to think about that as of now first let's see if we can get down there so that's everything on GBP and guys remember with all the news we have this week and elections on GBP it's very low very low probability conditions in terms of these aren't easy markets to read. Although I have a bias and everything, it's not going to be easy because they're going to do a, a, you know, a lot of manipulation in conditions like in days like these. So do be careful. It's the beginning of July. Let's give it a chance, especially with non-farm payroll. Give it a chance to catch itself. But yeah, I just, I just need you guys to keep that in mind. Same on um, Euro anyway. I'm looking for a discount to get created on Euro. So I'm looking at that Monday low. Remember me marking out this 50% level of this bullish order block. We haven't actually traded down into it yet. I'll show you what I mean by that. So on the four hour, we haven't traded down into that bullish order block. We just traded away from it. So that's why I want to see, can it act sensitively? Remember, the lowest I want to see it go is 50% level because that's consequent. I mean, that's mean threshold. So it should respect that ideally. And I'd like to think that can get, you know, I'd like to think that will stay intact for us to then again create the low of the week with the expectation to eventually fill this premium range I was talking about. So pretty simple, very nice day on Euro. A lot more well behaved than pound, as you can see clear displacement so we're running for some kind of sell stops um, and that's why I have this sell side liquidity marked out because at right now it's looking like price could easily run for that sell side and then whip back on itself on Thursday we're moving into Wednesday and Thursday so do take that into consideration although I'm talking about this daily order block now that I'm on the one hour and I'm seeing how clean these lows, lows look they wouldn't surprise me at all if um, Euro wanted to grab those Bearing in mind, if Euro is going to grab those relative equal lows, that means that dollar would likely have to trade into these relative equal highs. So now that's changed the narrative completely now, hasn't it, guys? But what I'm saying is that this whole movement down that we're seeing, so this kind, this time of the week, moving into that Tuesday, Wednesday time, I'm seeing this as manipulation, which is why I'm not too concerned about where it's going to. I just need to wait for that you know, pullback if it's going to give it us to then start thinking about potential longs because that was my weekly and monthly bias, right? If that makes sense. But yeah, nonetheless, traded up into a nice premium. So now there's no reason to go for the south side, but remember I want to up close week. So the fact that we've gone to a premium mon on Monday is set suggesting to me that we won't probably see expansion until Thursday and Friday. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, of course it does make sense. Why? Because we've got non-farm payroll. So I hope that all makes sense. Anyway, I've got to get going, but Hope you found this insightful. Definitely drop a comment, join the Discord server, drop a like, join the mailing list, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.